here bringing you by request um, a tutorial video on the piece Summer um, I think from the Kitchen Swink by Reed um, it's uh, on the grade 5 uh, Trinity College clarinet syllabus if you're wondering uh, where the accompaniment's coming from uh, I got hold of a piano part and actually made a MIDI uh, file of the accompaniment uh, which you can request at any time I'll send it to you via um, email so this is my own device um, which I thought would help um, with this video so what are we looking for um, in a piece like summer uh, for me it would be tone uh, legato especially over wide intervals uh, phrasing uh, and breath control. I mean, there is the odd sort of um, and I think this in the middle bit gets a little bit uh, intense. But uh, you've got wide intervals like say and And uh, what I recommend for those, there's a couple of different exercises. Um, say to help, say from the B flat to the A, there's an exercise I do where you um, sort of gradually go up a chromatic scale. Be careful not to squeeze the A. Just let it. Just let it. Just let it uh, come. If anything, you can back away from it um, a little bit. Uh, this piece is also very good for covered fingerings. Uh, what I mean by covered fingerings or resonance fingerings is that the uh, throat tones can be a bit woofy and sharp and. Um, you know, just not sound as good as the rest of the instrument. Resonance fingerings help that. So for an A, I would use those fingerings. A B flat, I would use um, and say for a G, probably either two or three and four. completely your choice. Now also to help with um, uh, going over the break I recommend that you use the resonance fingering so that you're not moving so many fingers so so you've got fingers down before you hit the C because um, later on in the piece um, after the second time bar you'll 
want as many fingers down as possible to facilitate that uh, being as easy as possible. So, um, and the good thing about having a MIDI file, I mean, I'll do a MIDI file and I will do a um, MP3 file. The thing with a MIDI file, if you use it with the right program, you can slow it up, you can speed it up, um, anything you like. I'm, I actually used Logic Pro to develop um, the uh, piano part. Uh, using the Bosendorfer Grand Piano. And then eventually, um, if you're using a program like Logic or Pro Tools, um, you can just plonk the MIDI file in there um, and then just record over the top of it, because uh, I've got some sort of microphones and stuff here, I can do that. Okay, so you've got about almost two bars uh, introduction. <laughs> I think the top of the phrase is probably the seventh bar. I mean, I know there isn't written in a, a um, mezzo forte, but I probably, um, I probably would actually um, expand it to one. And more, put more emphasis on the lower B flat. this all in the one breath as well so I'll take it from the beginning again bit from bar 11 is we're elaborating on the theme a little bit, uh, taking it up and down the octave. So instead of you get this sort of a little echo happening. Um, so it's, it's sort of broken up a little bit. Sort of like an undertone um, afterthought. So let's take it from 10. Ah, yuck! Let's try that again. Although um, if you're using the covered fingering sometimes they do tend to to the middle section of the piece. Uh, this is quite dark. Basically it's taking the little motif from the 11th bar um, and sort of elaborating a bit. Are coming back to the main theme again. So uh, let's take bar 19.
Okay, so you see that little bit there? Try to get as many fingers down as possible. So that you get a really smooth um, connection. So I'll take it from uh, bar 30. practice them alone keep keep the jaw relaxed don't bite it'll come out easier then the whole piece for you.
that's Summer. A very, very nice little piece from, um, just a moment, it's from the, uh, the Kitchen Suite by um, Reed for uh, Grade 5. Uh, clarinet Trinity College. So um, that's enough from me. Any further requests, don't hesitate to get in touch um, over the many ways you can reach me. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.